Hey, hello. Welcome to my channel. Happy Gawai. Today, 1st of June, uh, 2021, a uh, Monday. And also, uh, holiday for East Malaysia uh, since uh, last weekend. Uh, Keamatan holiday for Sabah. And then uh, now, Hari Gawai for Sarawak uh, for 1st and 2nd of June. Yep, uh, this is a challenge uh, for me uh, to record a video um, on the learning curve that I've gone through uh, for website publishing learning how to use uh, different systems uh, to publish a website. So I have been doing uh, website publishing for more than 10 years. Uh, so this will be a whole series uh, which I don't hold back. Uh, I will give you what I know, what I have learned uh, for all these uh, number of years that I use uh, website building platforms uh, to maybe able to help you how to embark on uh, the same journey. Uh. Let me begin. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Thomas Sim, PA 2066, today, 1st of June 2021. I'm thinking of uh, doing a recording uh, for a presentation on how my journey uh, for building website uh, started and how uh, much I have learned through all this number of years. Let me uh, just give you a brief introduction in the early years and also later towards the middle and the later part of the presentation, uh, more technical um, technical stuff about WordPress, WordPress web publishing. Let me begin. So in the beginning, uh, uh, like probably 20 years ago, uh, 1993, 94, uh, 25 years ago, I was actually just using website uh, publishing uh, for a starting uh, using Dreamweaver, a program called Dreamweaver. At that time, Website was just coming up, uh, internet was just becoming uh, something um, new, so uh, there was uh, a lot of different search uh, engines. Uh. At that time, you probably have heard of Lycos, um, Alta Vista, um, Tripod. Uh. These are the common equivalent of um, our Google now. Uh. So now you don't hear them anymore because uh, those are uh, old ones and being replaced by the newer, uh, better ones, uh, better engines uh, like Google uh, in the 1998, uh, from 1996 to 1998. So be beginning in 1993, 94, 95, uh, mainly you hear about uh, Alta Vista, Lycos, uh, those are the ones that was uh, coming in, 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 in the area of uh, search engine. Uh, and also we have uh, eventually Yahoo. So Yahoo was one of the earlier search engines which uh, most people use. And these uh, companies that uh, really go into IT uh, website, uh, internet, and at that time, they also give away website website building platform. So like course, uh, Tripod was one of the earlier ones that gave away online, yeah, uh, online starting of the website. Yeah. And I think uh, at that time, uh, you write a code uh, using this type of code, code HTML code and using uh, Dreamweaver, then you load your uh, code uh, into the website. Uh, so then you see your simple web pages. Uh. Of course, at that time, a lot of uh, internet connection was very poor. So we were unable to do much uh, aside from some words. Uh, text messages, text, uh, text line, and also some images, uh, and the images of, of poor quality. Uh. So not that much of a um, interactive uh, website that you see nowadays. Uh. So at that time, there was not much uh, heavy skill uh, or no or zero skill, just basic on HTML um, upload into um, website. Uh. So that was 1993 to 1996-98. Lah. And after that, then we started to have things like Google. And Google came uh, much later, like 1998-2000. And you have uh, Google now uh, actually brought over Blogger and Blogspot, lah, which are actually under Google. So this is a type of uh, web-based website building platform you can use to build a simple website. Lah. And this type of web-based Simple website building is quite easy to learn. A lot of people just need to um, just upload some 
images as well as uh, maintain some video and you are able to organize a nice web page uh, with the built-in uh, platform um, elements uh, they call it uh, elements so here uh, we have shown in this uh, slide uh, two websites uh, which I have uh, built under my real property part one and part two uh, which are was for uh, studying of the estate agent exam um, in the question and answer manner. So this is the interface you can see uh, in Vogue where on the left hand side you can see that you can choose to input pause, um, also input pages, layout. You can choose the type of layout that you want and um, there are number of teams uh, that you can select. Uh, so the number of teams is like number of uh, style of how you're going to arrange your website uh, into beautiful uh, layout. So all these are all built in uh, for you in the blogger platform or blogger interface. Uh. So um, it's quite simple to, to use this format and you can use uh, your own domain or you can just use the domain uh, whereby it's a subdomain. Uh, so you uh, can have a website called abc.blogspot.com um, probably you are able to register abc.com and then you point your domain uh, to this uh, website uh, where um, it can be easily done through the interface so in this interface is user friendly and a lot of time um, not much uh, customization that you can do uh, that means uh, not much you can do on your own in, in uh, inputting uh, data or try to maneuver your data onto uh, this type of uh, web-based um, publishing system. So after the 2003 to 2013, uh, there was about a total 10 years that I did not actually improve much on my, my blogging ability and use of uh, higher level um, web publishing system so that was not um, much of things done until I have uh, really engaged into studying for the exam and that was uh, the time when I uh, I bought the first uh, domain justforthat.com and started the blogspot um, question and answer system uh, which is uh, my real property one uh, dot blogspot.com and my real property two which is for part two blogspot.com I have a website which is myrealestateforum.blogspot.com which is a whole collection of uh, past year questions uh. so you can go to this uh, particular um, blogspot uh, website uh, to actually see the past year questions uh. all these are free for access however um, there are also issues like you can only have um, hundred and uh, not more than 100 subscriber for the website if you want to make it private so therefore there was an issue where for my uh, real property one my real property two these are um, content restricted website so i could not expand more than 100 people so i have to start looking at other areas whereby on the 1st of january 9, uh, 2018 i uh, started the learning for using WordPress. So maturity era for me would be WordPress era where I have started uh, using uh, WordPress as a management system for website publishing. And from 2018 until now, which is about three and a half to four years, I have really learned a lot about using WordPress. So that's why I'm not holding back. I want to maybe um, extend a bit of, of how I learned uh, through hard, uh, learning curve uh, to uh, reach today as I have operating I'm operating more than five websites now using uh, WordPress uh, platform so WordPress uh, is a very powerful uh, web publishing system and um, most of the major about more than 30 percent of the major websites uh, in the world actually are built upon using WordPress system so you can be sure that um, you can learn and use WordPress for a lot of time to come, a lot of years to come where WordPress is one of the well um, entrenched website publishing system uh, in the world now. We have uh, used different modes uh, of um, how to engage uh, WordPress uh, into um, different 
steps uh, I will put it into four layers uh, four steps uh, for you to learn through using um, my own experience so these are the website that I have um, completed using WordPress estateagentexam.com um, also my uh, real property online contact to you.com findway.info and uh, abacus uh, real estate.fund these are the five that I have really uh, made in the recent time uh, recent about two to three years and I have learned uh, using different types of uh, methods uh, to um, put them together they are all in different um, form uh, it's like you can explain it in this way uh, it's like different painting so a uh, website is in itself a painting if you look at it as a different painting that means uh, the different website although they are using the same color maybe um, even the same brush um, same types of uh, paper but uh, the outcome of the painting uh, is different so this is the artistic way of explaining how website uh, building can be different although they appear as a website uh, they appear all are uh, similar as in a website format so there are four stages or four levels I will want to quickly go through one is early adaptation uh, main, mainly to learn how to use the interface in the most basic manner second is you uh, put in more effort and time then you have um, in a way I uh, learn a new skill uh, every time you try and learn new things on your own so learning website is like a learning of um, let's say uh, swimming so if you learn swimming uh, in the early days when you go into the water then you try to learn how to be comfortable in the water so early adaptation after that you learn different skill or uh, maybe different style of uh, uh, swimming which is skill development and eventually uh, you integrate your uh, skills together so advanced integration uh, in a analogy of um, uh, website building would be using your skills that you have learned uh, in uh, WordPress using different types of plugins using uh, WordPress together with other um, tools and um, systems uh, that are available for integration and eventually you go to the final one which is actually the professional web developments uh, of uh, being a professional web developer so the last is of course the difficult one where most of us who are not um, we don't call coding uh, we are not coder so we are not coding uh, the website we are only using um, ready to use systems that is available for us so if let's say you want to be a professional web developer you can choose to become a front-end developer so you have to learn advanced um, things about um, using code or using uh, programming language so in that manner uh, my current status uh, in the learning of the website is I am under advanced integration WordPress uh, integration I am uh, quite okay with doing migration using um, all the way of um, available tools that is uh, given uh, free of charge a lot of it are free of charge in WordPress doing maintenance and keeping um keeping on uh, the website uh, in the normal use of course if you were to consider non techies uh, that means we are not programmers this is most likely uh, most uh, likely the outcome of most um, website publishing um, in the market that means uh, if you were to go to market you will see a lot who are learning web page publishing uh, until this current state uh, of uh, able to utilize most of the system ready to use system in the WordPress platform but to advance uh, learners uh, to advance professional level where they use coding then uh, there is a big hurdle uh, so there is a real big hurdle to cross and uh, eventually end up uh, to the next stage uh, which is a big challenge front-end web developer if we choose to become a front-end developer we, we need to really go into JavaScript and all the programming so some of us uh, who learn 
web publishing may end up as a full stack web developer meaning to know about front and also back end meaning to uh, go into programming of the server so these are the future lah, if uh, anyone were to go into real um, professional level so this would mean to actually learn uh, javascript php python or java as it is or even to uh, server level um, java and c plus plus so the four levels are to most of us are, i would recommend that we go under uh, first second and third just to uh, be able to work on our own so those who are more interested can go into level four which i have gone through level four um, sub level four um, not necessarily you would be uh, getting to level four to operate the website in fact you can operate a website from even level one level one you would just use whatever that is available in the free um, uh, website or publishing system um, the one that i have used a lot is a lot uh, is a blogger um, if you are more ambitious uh, then you go to the second uh, level which is the simple wordpress where you use certain theme and single theme to manage your website and i would uh, later on show you what does it mean uh, by using just a single theme then you uh, may want to explore uh, to higher level by using different theme and plugins uh, that is available in wordpress uh, and which is able to give you more uh, versatile way of uh, doing website publishing of course it, ideally everyone uh, should try to become level three if not the um, then you can actually maintain just at level one or level two well uh, for me i would see it as a challenge if you can go through to level four where you use a site builder like uh, elementor and uh, using elementor to build uh, your website so this would uh, mean that you are actually quite professional in your um, usage of a wordpress platform so in the example that I want to uh, show and explain what is simple WordPress uh, is in fact the estateagentexam.com uh, which is actually using just uh, the core feature of uh, WordPress using everything which is provided by WordPress. So this is actually a level two, meaning to say you basically don't use much of uh, um, integration of different uh, so-called plugins. You just um, um, blankly uh, use what is available by uh, Gutenberg so Gutenberg is actually a block um, type of uh, website publishing system where uh, each uh, block uh, in fact you can put onto the uh, website by uh, assigning certain features uh. so if you want to put a picture then that is a block of picture uh, image if you want to put a video then that part is actually a video um, uh, for the block so uh, using that uh, type of system uh, you can arrange uh, different blocks uh, onto a uh, uh, front page of the website uh. so if you look at one website you can see some uh, texts uh, text writings you can see area of uh, button you can see um, video playing you can hear music you can also see pictures uh. so these are different different blocks uh, under gutenberg in the wordpress and a lot of time you may want to restrict content right, by using some membership restriction system so able to control who can access to what part of the website so uh, a, a lot of it is about uh, control and security as well as uh, making the website easy to maneuver or having a system of catching right a uh, second layer or second uh, type of um, level i want to explain is using a more complicated steam system where although it is a wordpress platform but you have a more tailor-made um, customizable theme uh, which you use for certain purpose specific theme like um, real estate theme uh, which you can see um, that it is already been um, assigned and also designed uh, for the purpose of uh, putting picture or putting uh, listing so this is a type of uh, um, wordpress publishing uh, publishing uh, 
theme system uh, where you can just incorporate or you can just install your theme and let the theme run the whole system for you uh. so just to import uh, whatever uh, parts are uh, that the theme itself already um, has it assigned so it is actually specific for a certain business type um, it doesn't need a lot of um, changes and you can just inherit the whole uh, layout uh, integrated layout onto your uh, website and it is already um, actually ready for use uh. so this is uh, not so much of complication and not customizable uh, so you can't really change uh, much uh, inside this uh, system let me just uh, uh, stop here and go into explanation uh, of how um, these two different layers uh, or different levels uh, are seen in my website uh. so as you can see uh, there's a lot um, although a lot of pictures you can see here a video and a picture in fact uh, it is actually very simple so each uh, part uh, is actually a block so this particular section uh, is actually a block where I inserted a featured image so uh, if you were to go in then you can see uh, from the so now we, let's say we edit this patch so this patch uh, indeed, indeed uh, at the back end uh, from the behind uh, is actually a whole patch of uh, information in the block system so now this is a block when you can highlight this uh, this is a whole block and you can change the block by changing its uh, content so then later uh, you want to add in anything uh, you just need to highlight the area type in and then you can insert for example i want to insert a picture so i can insert a picture just from here so it will come out so this part is already inserted in and you can see in the front if you um, update the picture then it will come out into the front page of the website now it is now in the front page of the website yeah this is inserted so this part inserted was just inserted from the edit uh, page uh, system so when you operate uh, in a way like this then the whole layout uh, is very simple to just insert in whatever uh, places that has been assigned for use so now we go back and then we take it out so how to take it out it's just simple you just go here click and then remove so update again so this is a system of Gutenberg where you can just insert whatever things that you want uh, being a text message or a, a particular uh, picture as well as a video so you insert a particular picture or video according to how to insert uh, with the button uh, that is uh, given to you so all the sidebar all here is actually well set up by wordpress itself so you, you can say it is like a simple word processing system or word processing program like um, microsoft uh, office uh, words uh, then you can just pick and choose uh, whichever things that you want to insert you just insert in so this is the simplest and the easiest mode uh, to learn WordPress. So let's say we want to start a new post. Let's just click new and inside the uh, system you are going uh, with a title. So you insert a new title. After that uh, you can insert whatever you know like typing in an essay or putting in an image uh, or giving it uh, a link all in the same uh, system of uh, similar to the word processing system you do not need to do much uh, when it is already been set up uh, a similar way can be done for all the wordpress uh, system so this is a uh, basic of uh, wordpress well um, in if the theme uh, need to be changed to a more complicated one then i would uh, use another example which is abacus real estate um, dot fund so the other uh, abacus uh, real estate dot fund uh, would be a 
sample I want to show you why uh, I mentioned it as a more higher level um, WordPress uh, system you can um, in fact have a specific website so now I uh, just want to make sure that particular image that we have put in just now was taken out so it was taken out huh? so now no more right we close this uh, window we go to Abacus so this Abacus uh, real estate dot fun in fact is a simple so-called WordPress uh, uh, website but then using a specific theme the specific theme of uh, real estate where uh, you actually have it work out for you how you want to uh, input listing how to have sign in for subscriber as well as uh, what are the uh, filters available so let's say we want to find any um, property for for sale here the theme itself has already uh, given search uh, bar location search bar for sale and types of uh, property by category as well as even uh, the price range so by uh, sliding this price range uh, you can in fact search uh, what are the available units that is within this price uh, range so let us uh, maybe put it as 295 to 2 million so let's say we do a filter and the web's uh, theme uh, actually uh, make it uh, easy to use so these are the one and you can actually see uh, in the map where are they located uh. so all these are integrated in the team with the google api so by building this style of website you can um, cut short uh, a lot of time in in a way uh, just incorporate the theme which is suitable for your business and just inherit uh, whatever that is been designed for you including quite a high level of uh, map usage as well as um, even search uh, filter and um, in terms of uh, layout a uh, very pretty layout very beautiful layout huh? however there are some shortcomings uh, when you use this side of theme because in itself uh, it's already been created for you and there is only limited types of uh, picture like in this case uh, it only allow you to have one featured image there's a map incorporated and then the particular agent's uh, photo uh, and a short write up uh, with some summaries of the number of rooms number of bedrooms and what are the do's and don'ts of the property but um, a lot of time we see a layout like this uh, we may not have enough pictures for um, convenient use uh, where our customers as the real estate agent uh, will want to see more pictures so how to have a layout where it can give you more pictures uh, then you need to change this layout so to to change this layout uh, will be a higher level uh, where you need to in the way learn uh, how to use other um, so-called system or plugins uh, to be able to uh, make this uh, layout to suit your business so comparing this uh, to a uh, higher level of uh, using different pl uh, plugins and then you can see the difference uh. although this is quite a good system of how to in fact use a uh, uh, website uh, as a uh, immediate to use easy to maneuver um, and also for easy search uh. this is a good system to use so abacus uh, real estate single theme layout uh, is in fact tailor made for real estate usage as I said uh, earlier uh, specifically it is used for real estate uh, types of business um, in fact it actually utilize a system of custom post type uh, which you will hear later when I go to more integrated uh, WordPress system uh, it actually is specific and not so much customizable because I have mentioned just now also um, if you and pictures and even some of us now are using <coughs> video uh, then uh, that is a uh, obstacle uh, for inputting all this data uh, or link uh, into the right, uh, the third level uh, which is the uh, simple theme but uh, with the expanded type of uh, user or front-end form plug-in that I'm going
going to introduce uh, is actually a website called My Real Property Online. Uh, previously called the Just Let Up Property Online. Uh, this type of uh, system uh, actually use a uh, form system of input. Like you go to a lot of website, uh, they usually have a uh, form form input. Uh, you key in like a uh, contact form, your name, your e email address, your contact number, and all those, and then you send in um, to the to the website. Uh, so then the website uh, capture this the particular um, input, uh, this particular entry. Similarly, uh, for uh, website publishing uh, for the front end purpose, that means without going to the back end, you can use form system uh, to publish your post. So instead of putting it as a request, let's say for messaging, uh, let's say you type in for contact us, then you say, well, uh, I'm so and so, my name is so and so, I'm contactable at this number, please get back to me or please reply me. So this type of form, form input, uh, you can actually think of it as a post input, meaning to say putting a listing. You just key into the form, um, your property for sale or your um, pictures. You upload, uh, input it into the form, and then the form will publish it uh, as a listing into the website itself. So this is called a front-end um, posting system. Without a, a user signing in as in the back-end of the website, uh, so this type of uh, system used for uh, WordPress uh, is actually quite um, easily um, in, incorporated or um, easily developed as a uh, tailor-made uh, to individual fields, uh, so individual needs, uh, especially like you uh, need to capture information like how many rooms or what is the car park number or whether there is a um, lift or is it a walk-up apartment? Uh, all these uh, can be designed in a form uh, manner. So inside the form, you have uh, select, you know, select uh, by drop-down or uh, checkbox. Uh, then later, when all these are in, in a way key in uh, to a form and submitted the form as a post, then all those uh, will come out as in a, a listing, in a patch listing. So this is the a way that most of the uh, posts can be created and uh, therefore it means to say you can create a post like a, a command uh, inside a website where you type in uh, your comment and then you just uh, submit that particular uh, comment that comment will come up in the website as a comment below um, below the blog so this is the same manner how uh, listing a particular listing is created in a wordpress system but to do this, uh, you need to sometimes uh, have a learning curve uh, of how to use the form and how to set the form uh, so that it can display the thing uh, in the correct manner. Uh. So this one, uh, a lot of uh, learning also needed. And at the end, some of the forms uh, would have a uh, requirement for uh, higher level use. You need to have the pro version and therefore need to pay for it. Although then you have more customizable, uh, a lot more freedom to choose and how to uh, use this uh, system uh, for benefiting your website. Uh. So your website can have capturing more than one um, particular picture. You can have uh, six or even ten pictures to be captured under this uh, form input. Let me go back to um, the website so that I can show you how it differs. So let's say you are a user. And now uh, you want to input a form, insert an advertisement. In fact, this opens up a form, a form where it captures your uh, information that is required. So you can have a title of the advertisement, the types of uh, uh, what is the image, uh, and upload your image. You can have more images to upload, and you can write more things. So each and every entry here, in fact, is in itself a form entry. So you can create more form entry for a purpose of your own and it's more tailor-made to a particular business is uh, more important than the other. All, all the features uh, of this uh, form uh, is in fact uh, uh, come by the form itself. So you have to download the plugin of the form and here I have uh, plugin 
for the form as WP uh, user front end. This WP user front end, some of it is free. Um, if you want to use more high tech ones, you need to pay. Here you can see a uh, user front end user front end so this user front end is in fact a form a type of form where you design a form and the form can be shown in the front end so that you can um, you can um, capture the type of data that you want for a higher level like google map forms uh, you need to pay you need to pay for the form to have the google form um, like in here it's not highlighted right all these are features that you need to pay for it's like google map feature all these features you have to pay for it so there is a higher version the pro version which you need to pay for uh, certain features that you may see required uh, into the website uh. so all this is uh, all can be done uh, by downloading a uh, paid, paid version from the website buy it and install it in the wordpress system so similarly, you can uh, may you may want to use other system of map, other way where it is a free system for use, so that you can circumvent uh, the res restriction or the limitation by the form itself. Uh. So these are all um, ways and how you can ultimately um, get aware by using other uh, substitutes uh, instead of paying. For the type of uh, feature that is uh, coming from the um, so-called uh, programming of the particular form so uh, these are innovation that you have to learn through your um, interaction uh, with the type of uh, product that is uh, used in a uh, choice of uh, your own choice of uh, product so this is a website that is built based on form and individual form capture will be published as a listing in the front end so that means uh, uh, whenever there is a new uh, entry into a form it, the form will publish it as a listing so you can design whatever information that you want to capture and publish it up as here and this particular theme uh, this particular theme can be used for many different types of uh, businesses uh, not necessarily it has to be used only for a particular business you can make it like a uh, website for uh, food you can use it for a website for maybe even a tour agent tour agency so this uh, system um, flexible use of uh, a website team